Okay, last time we already talking about the counter. They can be thing cannot count or this thing cannot count. If we're looking for on the display, this is a counter synchronous or this synchronous counter. Uh, uh, synchronous counter, sorry. By looking into the clock here, okay, if the clock connect to the clock up on for each of the fifth block. That means synchronous counter. Okay. Otherwise, if the clock go to the only one and the next fifth block, you get a clock from the Q0 and so on. That will be a synchronous counter, okay? That also the counter here, okay? And now you can see, okay? The clock will be tied together. Synchronous counter, okay? This thing you can See the input output through the piece pi. You can run piece pi, okay? However, we don't care right now. Now, that's what we supposed to be talking about that only quickly, okay? Thank not for but binary counter. For example, 74 L at 193. I see. Almost from now on, the lab will be asking for understanding in order to test. We cannot use the P spy. Why? The reason is the piece pipe we're using for students. They don't have enough IC in the library. So that's why you cannot run. Okay? You cannot run simulation to collect the data. Only thing is you have to understand. Any IC when you're working, you want to know. You can go to the Google, type in 74 LS 193, and they given you anything you need to know. Okay? So, I just talking quickly about this one, and I will be go to the D lab number five. Okay? And the red I see will be talking later, depending on which I see we're using. So this counter will be for a bit. For a bit, that means binary. You can count in from zero to 15. Okay. The thing is, they get a four bit inside, they get four fifth block. That's why they say, counting up, zero to 15, then to zero. That means they keep counting up forever. Okay? They start zero, one, two, three, up to 15, to zero. And then also, this counter can be counting down. That means they counting down from 15 to 14, 13, 12, and to zero. 
and go back to 50. So this counter, they can either count up or count down. And then they can load in any data to the output of the counter. Or they can clear the output to zero. Okay, that's what the, this IC can do. And then now they're telling you, clear, active, high. If you're looking into the scan, you know, the IC, clear on what pin? What pin will be IC? A clear. 14. 14. 14. Very good. Right here. Clear. Okay. Active high. Active high, that means logic one, they will be clear. Okay. And now you're telling me output, you get four output. Okay. And this output will be, you see, QA, one, QB, two, QC, and QD. Okay? You get four output. When you apply the logic one into pin 14, clear. QA will be equal to QB, will be equal to QC, and equal to QD, equal to zero. Clear, that means output have to be zero. Okay? That is talking about the clear, active one, active high. Okay? Load active low. Okay, what pin will be telling you? You will be loading. 11. 11. 11. All right, right here. You see the bubble here. Active low. That's only telling you if pin 11 equals 0, then QA will be equal data A. QB equal data B. Where data B? What pin? Right here. Eta B. That means QA will be equal data A. QB equal data B. QC equal data C. And QD equal data D. That means you load Okay. If load equal zero, then Q zero or Q A equal A. Q one equal B. That means Q B. Okay. Q C equal C and Q three equal D. And Clear must be zero. Why? The highest priority will be clear. If clear equal logic one, you cannot do anything. Output has to be on zero. So if you try to test for the clear, Okay, you apply clear zero. 
but Lord must be zero, right? Let's say you want to Lord, Lord must be low and clear must be zero. So you apply input to A, B, C, D. When you get a load equal zero, then QA will be equal input A. QB will be equal input B. QC equal input C and QD equal input D. Okay. Then now, you want to count up. If you want to counting up, clear must be equal zero and load must be one. Okay? So you can counting up. Okay? And counting up, the clock will be go to pin number five. Okay? And pin number four, cow down, must be at logic one. Positive clock apply to cow up in pin number five. You understand on your circuit board, you can get one we, we call a P clock. And another one will be N clock. P clock, that means the clock going zero to one. N clock, clock going one to zero. Okay? So, you want to go up, you have to apply the clock to pin number five. And pin number four, Cow down must be what? That's what they're telling you. Okay? And if you want to count down, the opposite will be, clock will be applied to pin four, and pin five must be one. So now, this is the timing. Okay, you have to understand this timing here. First thing you're looking at, input clear, right here. Clear going up. That means logic one. Okay, what happened? Clear, that means on the output have to be zero. Okay, and now you can see QA. Zero. QB. Zero. C, zero and D zero, okay? So you can say you got zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here, okay? So to clear, you apply the clear at logic one and you verify QA equal zero, B zero, C zero, D zero. Okay, if you get any question, just let me know. The thing I want you, when you're looking into the, this information, you must understand that what at work, sometimes you have to do it. That is the first test for clear. 
had a nice test they want to test for loading. Okay. The loading here. You want to load, then load have to be zero. And clear have to be zero. Okay. Now, when you apply the load equal zero, okay? Then you have to see, okay, QA, QB, QC, QD, what logic? If you're looking into input QA, will be a one. QB, zero. QC, one. QD, one. Before you loading, you get one one zero one. What number? One one zero one. What number is it? If you look into here. Thirteen. That will be number 30. That means they apply, okay, input, okay, will be 1011. And now you're looking into here, you can see 10. One, one, that means input apply number 13, okay? When the cloth go in low, the, this input will be go to the output, okay? So that's why you can get one, zero, one, one. You can load any number from the input to the output, okay? And then counting, okay? Counting up, okay? The clock will be going zero to one, okay? When you apply the clock, if you're looking into the display, Right now, they number 13. So when you get the clock, okay, put the clock here. Put one. Then what happened? They will be start counting up. So the number before you apply the clock, okay, then they counting up 13, they counting up, they go to 14. However, make sure when you counting up, the down, up you get a clock, down they must be logic one. Okay, so you apply the clock, now they counting up to 14, okay? After, after 14, you get the next clock, okay? They will be counting up 14, okay? okay. Next transition. And they count 
14, you apply the clock, they go to 15. Okay? That means you can get 15 will be a 1, a 1, a 1, a 1. Okay? That means when you count up, they can count from 0 to 15. And after they count to 15, okay, and you apply the clock again, they will be count to 0. You see that? 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? That is counting up. Again, counting up will be counting from 0 to 15 and to 0. If you keep applying the clock to up, that means they keep counting that way, run forever. And now they're talking about counting down. Counting down, 14, up must be 1. You see that right here, up must be one. And this is the clock for down. Okay? So the same thing. Okay? Right now, if you're looking at the output, you see what the number here. Okay? Let's see, zero, one, zero, zero. When you get the clock, they go to number one. You know what the number zero, zero, one, zero? What number? Number two. Who oh, now? What number? Two. Two. Perfect number two. Zero, zero, one, zero. When you apply the clock for down, they will be counting down. So that's why they count to number one. Okay? And number one, if they apply the clock again, they count to number zero, down. And after zero, you apply the clock, they go to 50. Okay? So counting down, they counting down from 15, 14, 13, and so on until zero. And after zero, you apply the clock, they go to back to 50. Okay? Now, in here, you get your output, one they call a CO, one you, they call a BO. Let's see. CO, what pin number? CO means carry out, pin 12. And borrow, PO, 13. See what happened, that's your output. First thing we're talking about CO, carry out. Normally they hide. Normally, they high. When they go in low, right here. That means they will be telling you when you get the output one 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 one. 
That means the counter go up to 15. Then they all go low. Just tell the people, okay, to know I already count up to 15. Okay? Then they low. I'm looking into the carry out. I see they go to zero. I know the counter already reached 15. Okay? Then they go back high. You understand it in your watch. You get the second minute and hour. Okay? So they have to using the counter. First circuitry will be for second. Second will be counting up zero to sixty. Okay? Then Minute will be count to one. And minute count from one up to 60. Then hour will be count to one. Okay? So, basically, they need the carry out. Okay? Connect to the minute circuitry. So when they're going low, then the minute will be counting one. Okay? And also, in the minute circuitry, do the same. If they count up to 60 minutes, they going low. So that's why the hour now, they counting one. Okay? And same thing for the borrow. If you're looking in here, you can see the borrow go to zero. Normally they want. But when they go to zero, when? When the output to be, let's say, zero, 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 zero. The thing that you count down, that means you count from 15 to 0. So when the output goes to 0, that output borrow 1 go to 0. So we know the counter already complete counting down. Okay? In here, you can see we can get a lot different IC, okay? But I don't want, I don't want to do it until we hit it. Now I'm going to talking about that one, the D left five. Let's see.
Okay, that's what I'm talking about, the left side. If you're looking into the D left side, okay, the IC counter will be this guy. 74, 160, okay? That will be B, C, D counter, okay? B, C, D mean binary code decimal. That will be telling you the filter, the counter you choose to get a four output, QA, QB, QC, QD. However, they count only zero to nine. Count up zero to nine. Okay? Zero to nine, zero to nine. Why? The thing is they are BCD counter. That means they count like decimal. And you understand decimal, you can get only number zero to nine. Okay? That's for decimal. So this you two only count zero to nine only. Okay? And then if you're looking into the circuitry, how many I see? Three. Two. Uh -huh. Oh, no, three. three. I'm sorry. Three. I'm sorry. I'm looking at two screens. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> L1, okay. L2, and L3. 1A, 1B, same IC, okay? And the input, you can say you two, clear. Active, what active? You want to clear. What will we apply to pin one? Zero. Perfect. You see the bubble, right? Active low. Zero with clear. So if you apply PD number one equal zero, then the output here will be equal zero. That is clear. Okay. That's the fourth function. The second function will be load. Also active load. Okay? You understand that normally clear will be a higher priority. If clear equals zero, you cannot do anything. Output have to be zero. Okay? So if you want to test for the load, Pin number nine must be okay. Pin number nine must be zero. You see, active low. However, pin number one must be one. Okay. Then you can load. What that mean? That mean whatever you get input A, B, C, D. Then the Q A, Q B, Q C, Q D. Q A will be equal A. Q B equal B. Q C equal C. Q D equal D. 
that means you look. Okay. And the last one, counting. They will be count zero to number nine, then zero. So for the counter, counting pin number one must be one. Pin number nine lot must be one. The thing is lot higher than counting. Okay. Enable, be enable, free. Okay. We'll see. And the clock apply to pin number two will be positive clock, P clock. And they don't care about A, B, C, D. The thing is they counting, they not loading. Okay. That is what go for U2. Now I'm talking about U1A will U1B. U1, they call a buffer. What that mean? If you get A1, A2, A3, A4 input, you can apply. And they will be go to output Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. I given you example. You want to load number nine. Number nine will be one, zero, zero, one. Okay. And pin number one enable, routed. That means whatever you apply for A1, A2, A3, A4, output here will be the same. One, zero, zero, one. That means A, one, B, zero, C, zero, D, one. Okay. Then if you apply the load equal zero, that will be telling you one, zero, zero, one will be here. One, zero, zero, one. Now, if one B, same thing, if one A, buffer. That will be telling you, P19 enable zero. Then automatically they go to one, zero, zero, one. That means you apply, okay, PA, PA, one, two, three, four, okay. Then you apply the low, they will be the output of U2, then they will be, will be go to port C, and you can verify that. Only thing, U3. U3 will be 7474. Okay, only thing you can see, they connect not Q. Back into D. So how the U3A working? D flip flop. If they connect not Q to input D. Go. Then how that D flip flop working? Who now? Well, it, it's toggling. Perfect. You're very good. That means when the D flip flop, they connect not Q 
you to input D. So when they get the clock, that means the clock coming here. Then output will be toggle. So if you're looking in here, you can see the D flip flop. Okay. They connect the clear input here. Input clear, connect to clear right here. You see that? So when you clear, okay, when you clear the counter zero here, that means also they clear U3. That means the output at the beginning, they will be zero. Okay, so when the counter count up to number nine, okay, that will be telling you the output on RTO here, okay, they will be go this way. So look like the clock for the D flip lock. So this pin number five will be toggle. That means they go to what? Okay, that's a general working. So in here, okay, they will be telling you the circuit required to pass the following test first. Number one, test load zero one zero one. Test load data number nine one zero zero one. Test load data zero zero one zero. Then test the clear. Okay, U two and U three. You want to test the clear? You have to apply PD zero one equal zero. That means the output of counter zero, output of the flip flop zero. That you to counting up zero to nine to zero. Okay. Then finally, they want to get you to output RTO. Okay. That means after they count up to the nine to zero. You get a clock go into the U3. So output Q, what year all now they have to go to what? Now try to see that one. Time it. First thing, if you want that to clear. Here. Clear will be zero. Okay, then the clear equal zero, you're looking for the output. Output here, QA, QB, QC, QD. And you want that output to be zero, 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 zero. Okay, that only thing you apply to the clear equal zero. Then you verify the output supposed to be zero, 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 zero. That is the first test. Second test, you want to test for the load. Now you go into the load here. Load will be zero. Okay. However, clear must be what? Okay, so if you want to load, then you have to know what input A, B, C, D, input to apply. Okay. D zero. 
Okay. C1. One. 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 What number? Zero, one, one. Seven. 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 Perfect. Okay. So make sure the other students need to not quite understand. Okay. Try to understand or asking your friend, the people whom they already know. Okay. Zero, one, one, one. That's a seven. I've given you the table. Okay. Regarding into the binary, into the decimal, and the high decimal. You're looking into that, and you know what number. Okay? So when you get a load equal zero, okay, and the output now will be zero, one, one, and one. Seven. Okay? That is the load. You can load any number you want. Okay? That means you have to apply number to input A, B, C, D. Okay? You set the load to zero. And the clear must be one. Then the output will be equal. That number. Now we're talking about counting. Remember, counting up Okay, only zero to nine to zero. So if you see the clock will be here. I'm talking about counting up, okay? So right now, you are number seven. Right here. Right now you're here. Okay. When they apply the clock, positive clock, zero to one. Okay. Then they will be counting up to number. Eight. Correct. The thing is you on seven. You apply the clock, they go to eight. Okay. When you go to eight, they go to the night club right here. Okay. That night club, they go into what number? One. You see the number here. One. Zero. Zero. What? What number? Nine. 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 Okay, so that's why you say they count to number nine. They count to number nine, and now you apply, keep apply the clock, they go back to zero. You see that? I already telling you. They want to counting up will be zero to nine to zero. Up only, not down. Okay, you can see the zero, then they count up one, two, three, and keep going. Okay. Only the thing is, this counter will be controlled by the clock. Okay. That means no matter what you want to do, you have to apply the clock. For example, if I want to clear, apply the clear test, I apply clear to zero. The output is not equal zero until you get the clock. Okay? So they control by the clock. Same thing, you load 
when you apply log zero, you apply input A, B, C, D. Output is not equal A, B, C, D until you must get the clock. So basically everything will be controlled by the clock for this IC. So that's why if you want to know the IC, how they working, you have to know how to read it, the timing, okay? You can go into Google. You type in 74160, they given you own information. However, by looking into the timing, you know how to test the clear, how to test the load, okay, how to test the counter. Now, in here, that's what you need to do. First thing, you have to fill it in. Enter data, okay? Zero, one, don't care. P clock for each test following table. Now, telling me, first thing I want to load zero, one, zero, one. Telling me what I supposed to enter for clear. What data will be enter for clear? When you load zero one zero one. Five. Mm. You look at your data sheet, you look at the um the schematic and see if it's got a bubble if 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 clear is active high or active low. And then based on that, looking at your schematic, you can put it in. Same thing here. Right. You're looking on the timing here. Clear have to be zero. 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 To clear. Yeah. Okay. So now you go into here, you say clear zero. Clear zero. Okay, and A bon P and T. Look into here. Same thing. And A bon right here. They low. And A bon here, zero, zero, right? Right, they low. Zero, zero. They low. So you can enter zero here, enter zero here, lot equal. Same thing, look at the timing. Here. Lot will be? Zero. No. One. 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 Okay, however, now they want to load. Okay. Sorry on that one, okay? We enter clear. Well, no, we're not clear right now. We want to load. Yeah. Now as clear is down the ways. So clear have to be. One. One. You don't want clear. No, you want to load. Okay, now enable. Have to be one. One, right? One, one. For, yeah. load. For load here. Okay. Yeah, one. Mm -hmm. yeah they oh, are. will be one and one. One and one. So, one, one. one here. One here. And lot to one, lot to will be zero. 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 Okay. Then, clock will be zero to one. Okay. And you want the number five. Zero, one, zero. What? Okay. Hey, Mr. Pan, for that clock, 
you want to put P underscore clock like you got in the red, right? You mean clock. Okay, you mm -hmm. wrote in red P underscore clock. So that's what yeah. actually, that's what goes in the box. Right. Okay. I telling you here. You must be in the clock. Okay. P underscore clock. The thing that they telling you enter here. Zero. One don't care. P clock. Okay. Now, if you loading number nine one zero one zero, so you would know there have to be one, right? That have to be one. Zero. No. No, Mr. Fam, zero, zero. Okay. B cloud. Hey, Mr. Fam, that's not right. Just a minute. What do you mean? Uh, oh, not... oh, I said you, you want the load on the other end. Yeah, you're loading a fourth one now. You're loading a second. Yeah, I see. Okay, my, my mistake. I see. You know, the load is on the other end. You mean? No, no, you're fine. You're okay. fine. You're fine. Now, I, I, load, had, the, I had the end yeah. mixed up. Okay, load zero, zero, one, zero. One, one, one. Zero. Zero. Data zero, zero, one, zero. Now, next test will be clear. Clear will be zero, right? Right. Uh, that mm -hmm. will be zero here, zero here. Load will be one. You don't want to load. Be club. And output will be, no, if, sorry. Input here. What do you want to enter input for ABCD? One, 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 zero. Am I, I can't remember. Let's see. It's a clear. Um, it's a man. If that's clear, isn't that all zeros? The output is going to be zero. Oh, yeah. Output's going to be zeros. Doesn't matter the input. Right now we're talking about input A B C D. When you want to clear, you apply the clear zero, right? Logic one one. We don't want to load. Okay. And have to apply P clock. However, you still have to apply A B C D. What do you think A B C D input supposed to be? One 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 zero. Okay. Don't care. That is the right answer. <laughs> Why? Because it's clear. <laughs> clear higher priority. And clear is uh no matter what. Uh, so then that's why you put the don't care. Yeah. So the thing I make sure when you enter the data, you get a pop. Okay. Finally. Cow up. You want to cow up? Clear. Must be one. Correct. Right. Yep. And N P N T must be one. Load must be one. One. B club. Okay, and the output, okay, counting up, whatever output, they will be, they clear zero. So when they count up, they go to zero, 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 one, right? Because that's the first one, right? Right, 
before you you counting up you clear so output on zero zero so when you apply the clock to count up they go one apply next clock go two three four five up to nine then go to zero and hey, mr fam yes sir on on that uh middle one you didn't put nothing in the boxes so that's supposed to be p clock and uh and a zero there where it says load zero zero one zero in the middle. Okay, load zero. Let's see, loading. Zero zero one, one zero. zero. Okay. So input will be zero zero. Right? All right. One zero. Yeah. And P clock, right? P clock, Mr. Fan. What do you mean, peak clock? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Everything controlled by clock. Right. Peak yeah. Clock. Now, what A, B, C? First thing you want to load. Okay. Zero, one, zero, one. That means you apply zero, one, zero, one. Right? Right. Zero eight zero five five and the next number nine one zero zero one next number two zero zero one zero that is port A now port D when you load it okay N P N T When you load it, and they, they won. One, one, one. So you won one, you won one. Load you won zero. Clear must be B. Correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, zero I, okay, zero one, one, zero one. What number? D. 13. D is in David. D is in David. 13. 13, yeah. Okay, then you load 101. Number 9. 1001. That will be 08. Zero nine, right? right? X will be zero, zero, one, zero, zero, X, zero, two. Mm -hmm. Clear U two, U three. Okay. I think N, P, and T will be a one here, one here. Okay. Clear, we don't care that. Clear will be zero. Okay. So that will be zero I. Zero E. e. Okay, counting up. Counting up, that will be one. One. Load up to be one. Clear have to be one. Okay. So that's F. Zero F. And finally, you test for U3 toggle. Okay. U3 toggle. In here, they can tell in you. Let's see. Test, clear, U2, U3, okay? Test, U3, toggle. In right here. What are you looking at, Mr. Fan? We can't see. Are you looking at the diagram or what are you looking at? No, I try to find out, okay? 
what we supposed to be enter here. Okay, that means L3 output normally at the beginning. Right at here. the beginning is zero, right? You know. Okay. That they will be zero. Okay. When you test it toggle, that means they will be go to one. One. Okay. And only anything a in here, okay. For tap, they don't care, right? And hey, Mr. Van, but what did you put in number fifteen on port A? What number? Port A. Port A. Number. A. Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Could you be going up and down? So I'm sorry. It's port part D. D. Port D. Okay, Port D. D. Right? D is in David, yes. Okay, which one wrong? One, two, no, three. No, we're, we're asking you what, what, what do you oh, put in 15 on Port D? Oh, you want an A, B, and one, one. Load will be a one. Clear must be one. You don't want to clear. You so don't want to load. No. So are you saying all of those should be one, 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 one? Can, can you write no, it no, in there, Mr. Don't, we don't want to look right now. You want to cow. I know, but can you write it in there so we can tell what you're doing? You want to cow, right? No, we want to test you three toggle. And we want you to write okay. it in so you we can see what you're doing. Okay. You see that? They testing for clear U3. Okay. That means clear U3, U3 have to be zero. You see that? Mm hmm And then you gotta figure out the first uh test to figure out what test uh U3 toggle is, right? Yeah, normally you apply the clear, okay? They're telling you if you're looking into schematic here. When you apply the clear, okay, they will be clear Q to zero. Okay. Later on, you test for U3 toggle. That means U3 will be go to one. Okay, that will be telling you right here. Zero here, they clear. And later on, okay, they say that U3 toggle. That they will be one. The other part, they don't care. Oh. They only test for U3. Okay. Oh, gotcha. You want zero, and later on, you want it to be a one. One, right. Logic. Logic. Okay. Got it. Okay, now. The problem here, first one you said you test a load. That means zero one zero one. So basically, you want that to be zero one zero one, right? That's what you want. Right. Now, what the map data? Right now, at this test, you don't want this guy. You want only 
five one two three four Jordan. Mark data will be zero. Zero five. Yeah, zero five. And this data you want zero eight. Zero five. Correct. Okay. Yes. And now you can test number nine. One zero zero one. That's what you want. Zero eight. Zero nine. Next one, you number two, zero, zero. That's what you want, number two. Eight, zero, two. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, they want that. That clear, you two, you three. Okay. First thing, you want that to be a zero. And that also have to be yeah. zero. The thing is you clear you two. Okay? And also you three. So on that one will be zero eight. Zero zero. zero. Yeah. The math data. So you want that math data to be a one. One, 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 one. So one, one F, okay? The math, they must be one. And they have to be one, okay? So F. So now the same thing in here, U3 toggle. Okay, you want this to be a one, okay? So they don't care here. So the output zero, I one, zero. Okay. And the math data will be zero, I zero F one. Oh, okay. One zero. The thing is you want only this input update output here. Okay, so math data here will be one, zero. Okay. That means you math only this bit only. You don't care about that one. You want to see, make sure L3 was zero. Now when they count up from nine, then now go back to zero, then this have to be go to one. Oh, okay. Okay, and now counting up to one. So basically zero, 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 one. Okay, zero eight, zero one. And the math, math now you don't care about you three. So one, 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 one. Zero, F. Okay, so basically we already go through for you everything. Okay. Mr. Fam, yes, I still got a question on 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 uh, port D because you got to write the port A and write the port D. So on port D, the very last one where it says test U three, what goes in those boxes there? Oh, that U three toggle, right? Right. Okay, U three toggle. So basically, okay. On the port D. So 
where did they do looking here? That's the one here going. So basically, if you're looking up into here, you still need the clock, okay? However, anything else here, they don't care. So, on the port D, okay? Let's see, port D here. Right. Basically, you know they will need, need the clock, okay? However, in here, they don't put any the clock, okay? You need to put in what goes in ENT, ENP, load and clear. Load and clear, okay? That means you don't want to load. You don't want to clear, okay? And that will be telling you in here, when you go to port ABC, maybe they not allow you to writing in here. Or if we do, then you can get a one here, one here, lot it will be a one here and please. Well, Mr. Pham, Mr. Pham, just just for for the for students, just put in the box what we need to do for number test U3 toggle. Okay. Just write it in the box so we can see for learning purposes. You can enable be one here or one here, and that will be one here, and that will be one here. Okay, so then that would be zero X zero F. Right, same thing. And and then you 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 erased the box, the one up top, you erased it under PD2. You need to put back whatever you took out. Which one? Here? Where it says PD02, and under that it says load. Yeah, right there. I, I think, think he was trying to write something. There is a one. Is, is that a one? Lot will be one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, there we go. So this lab can be done very quick. If you know how to get your program for that one also. Only U1, U2, U3, only three I see. Okay. Very important is I want you to make sure you're able to understand how to read in the timing diagram. Okay. Okay. Again, when you apply or uh, in here, we do not telling you any P club, okay? However, for your understand, we already telling you, you want to do whatever you need to apply P club. The guy on your class is not too many students. Nine or eleven or ten, eleven or twelve maximum. However, you try the best. Normally on Monday, I will be in the class. You get a problem, I work with you. Either software or hardware try to help you to understand. We have to work in by individual. Okay? So make sure you know how to do what to do. The thing is, digital labs keep going and you try to working close to the up to date lab, okay? And make sure you can a little behind, not much. Otherwise, you will be get lost. Any question, anything? Q 
you get any question to me? Not at this time. Okay. So have a good night, okay? You too. Good night. Good good night. Good night. Good night sir. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.